Lulu, how have you been? The last time I saw you was five months ago. What's what's new? Oh, I've been through up. I have my ups and downs right now. I'm struggling. It's, it's hard out here, and it's super hot. So it, it's been it's been pretty bad, you know. Yeah, I got a puppy though. His name's Buddy. How old is a uh, Buddy? Uh, I don't know yet. I think he's a big boy. I think he's a grown man already, <laughs> but he looks like a baby. How long have you had him? For like two weeks. He keeps me, you know, out of being depressed and all that. So I love him. He's like a yeah. little um, service dog. Yeah. At least to you, right? He uh, helps you and a lot. makes you feel better. Uh, yeah. You said you got him from a couple gave him to you? Or? Yeah. That's nice. They just couldn't take care of him no more or what? Um, I don't even know. They just needed to find a new owner for him and they seen me and you know I'm a good person so they're like you want him and I said yeah <clears throat> but how you been I haven't seen you in a minute I haven't seen you in five months know, I've been really good. good just working lots and lots of work for me you know I you know I don't do this full time I, I have a, a real job you know a, a career congratulations yeah yeah past 15 years in the insurance industry so I uh so it keeps stay super busy and it's been really really hot um but today is not that hot it stays humid right it's, it's uh, humid very humid it's driving me nuts you don't like humidity i feel like i'm about to pass out right now i haven't ate i haven't i'm thirsty go get you some uh water and uh, something to eat right now when we're done okay but um thank you what's so anything uh, how's your leg doing i see you well, have like a brace a, on it yeah i went to the hospital right i went again and then again and they told me that they they can't do nothing about it that they're they're gonna send me to a shelter like why would why why can't they help me out instead of sending me to a shelter a woman's shelter they said to keep you out of the heat and keep you cool i'm like that makes no sense so you went to the hospital and the doctors told you they can't do nothing to repair yeah. your leg? There's I think I have to go to the doc the doctors that I first went to when I got hit by a car. But I don't know where it's at. It's on on the streets all the way over there. I know I remember that, but I don't know what hospital it is. And so having that brace <laughs> on your leg, what does that do? It helps me like, you know, keep it in place and not like, you know, say if I were to put weight on it, it stays together and it doesn't, you know, yeah. So it does help, the having a brace? Yeah. It that, sucks. That's, uh, that's odd that the doctors would say they're not able mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, straighten it. I know. You know? Maybe it's not as bad as, you know, obviously they keep k kicking me out of the hospital, like, like right when I wanted to get there too, and I was like, I'm excited, you know. Like the cops took me, and they they waited for me too. And I, I was only in there for like two hours, and it seemed like a whole night. When I got out, I was like, what the? It's barely the afternoon. It's still hot. The sun is still up. So yeah, they just that's all they told me basically. And it sucks because I really want to get my leg fixed, you know. Yeah, last time I talked to you, you want you want to dance, yeah. you, know, you want to run, you want to do things you haven't done in, in a long time, right? Yeah, things that I used to do back then. Has it been a year already since your leg? Uh, mm. No, popped? it's gonna be a year. It's probably like nine months. Nine months. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And how's the pain factor? It hurts a lot. A lot. You must be pretty tough dealing with that all day for the past nine months. That's why I'm on the bike, you know, it gets hard. It's not easy being out here, you know? It sucks. What's your biggest struggle being out here? Your leg, hunger, the people out here that aren't nice? Everything. Sometimes everybody could get along, you know, but there's days where everybody just hates each other and, you know, it sucks when people, you have a group of people that don't, 
that are not on your side, you know, they do everything just to keep you unhappy or, you know, just to f*** up your day or like the weather or just, you know, my leg, it sucks. Have you talked to your mom, your family, anybody? No. No. I've seen my cousins here and there. They they told me they were gonna take me to the hospital, but I haven't seen them. So they'll see you on the streets and they'll approach you and say, "Hey, cousin, how yeah. do you need help or anything it's like that?" Embarrassing. You got embarrassed. I have friends from high school, you know. And all I could do is just look down, you know, like, I know it's upsetting and I'm embarrassed and what can I do? It's, I guess, a part of my life I have to go through, you know? There's a, there's a barber um, where I go to, uh, he used to work there at a barber shop, at the barber shop. He is a barber. He works somewhere else now, but... I saw him on the street at, the, at a store recently, and he said, hey, I was watching your videos, and uh, you interviewed somebody, and you know what, I went to school with her, I used to talk to her, we were good friends. He was talking about you. Really? Yeah. See, that's sad. So it's like people are out there, you know, your friends from school. Yeah, I've had a lot of people that, I don't know, just come up to me, oh, you've been on the Lost in, Lost in Phoenix channel, I've seen you, I've seen your videos, like a lot and I'm just like oh hi <laughs> like thank you for watching my videos you know it's a part of my life and what I'm going through and people do go through this stuff you know and I hope people that are watching us struggle or not struggling or you know like going through this I hope it helps them not get to you know this lifestyle because it's not a good lifestyle you know like you want to be with your family you want to be with your friends you want to be with people that love you you know like inside I don't even know what it feels like to be inside anymore like normal they say you know that's the whole point of uh having these conversations with you folks right my main goal is prevention through awareness not for you because it's too late to prevent you from you know being out here but what about a 12 year old lulu that's at home yeah. confused lost fighting with family you know having issues right and uh instead of going to blues or anything uh, you know some they substance go other stuff. they're gonna watch this and be like oh man i'm gonna stay away from that because yeah. i don't want to lose everything the way lulu has right mm -hmm. so how many people do you think you've uh, touched in this? You and I have been talking a about lot, two years. A lot. A lot of people. You've I influenced actually went to my, my channel and i seen a lot of people from your channel. They went and then they're, they're so nice. Like, the, all the nice stuff that they said to me, I'm like, that I, for, I forget sometimes, you know? Like, thank you guys so much. You guys really, like, uplift me and, you know, remind me that I can't be that bad used to be you know it's just I'm going through through a, a speed bump in life you know and I hope I get through it it's hard it's very hard having an addiction is hard last uh last year I interviewed Victoria she was out in the streets for a year when I met her uh, she is now uh, like six months sober I just interviewed her about a month ago Aww. two months ago so it is possible, it is doable. And so these encouraging words, these uh, uplifting uh, motivational comments that you see, yeah. that you hear, those are like reminders that you matter, yeah. you're important, and you can overcome this obstacle, this challenge, this wall, you can jump over it, okay? Sometimes you just need a little boost up, okay? So um, I think that's the whole purpose. You're kind of you know, wrapping it up in a little nutshell. You know, The whole purpose of this is, is, is you sometimes need to be uplifted just the way Buddy's uplifting you and making you feel better yeah. and consoling you and being your friend down, during your, uh, My downs. Down, your down times when you're not feeling so well, right? Uh, there's also people that are praying for you every single day. Every day I get asked. And I pray every day too. I get asked, where's Lulu? Have you seen Lulu? No. People care about you. You'll, you're never going to meet them. You're never going to know their names. But they, but there's hundreds of people. Out there. You have an army of hundreds of people out there that, that believe in you. So um, 
you just need to remember that, okay? Don't give up on yourself, okay? So just like uh, Victoria was victorious and she's now six months sober. That congratulations, could easily be Victoria. Absolutely. And I can't wait to say congratulations to you because you're special. You matter. Thank and, you. And uh, I want you to get back to that normal life that you're talking about, right? You forgot what it's like to be normal. Yeah. Well, let, let's get you back there, okay? But um, we're here to help you and support you and uh, we believe in you, okay? So, uh, Lulu, thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you. you. You stay safe. God bless you. And we'll talk soon, okay? Thank you.